is my new best friend, new Canaan native, the man with two first names, Ian Nicholas. Ian, welcome to the booth. Rob, I'm touched. Thank you so much. Rob's and I'm honored to be here, and I'm honored to be with you guys. And you forgot one thing. It's cold. It's football weather. It and, is. you know, I bet the guys in this new Canaan team, Coach Marinelli's team, they love to run the football, and I bet they love this kind of weather in late October on a spooky Halloween. Hopefully we get, we get a fright-filled game, you know? A spooky Halloween, by the way, and you probably know this, Ian, because you've been getting the same emails I have. Yep. It's a blue moon, yes. which, of course, is the second full moon in a month, but that falling on Halloween last happened in 1944. Yeah, shout out to Diego Weingartner, one of the fathers of these uh, players on the Grand Elite team who gave us that little tidbit. Fun fact. It's just a historic game in general, and, you know, it's going to be so much fun to see this go down. It is history in the making. We've never seen New Canaan match up with a Brunswick private school kind of team. They're usually playing in a knapsack, but now they're playing this FCFL action, and we can't be more excited. Tell me what you're seeing out there. Is there anything that's surprising you? Is it exactly what you expected? Talk us through. Well, I didn't really know what I was expecting heading in the kickoff. I was expecting a great game of football. That is exactly what we've gotten. I didn't know if it was going to be this close, but as they got, those guys mentioned, it's been play for play, down for down. Everything matters, and it's been exciting. I didn't expect Greenwich to come out so slow, but maybe I should have, as you mentioned, because the prep time for them has been very limited. So I think I've seen two Greenwich teams. A Greenwich team of the first quarter that couldn't put anything together, but looked solid defensively. But then we saw the offense come into play in that second quarter, and they looked more like the team I was expecting. Explosive, athletic, and just very clean. And hopefully that's what Coach McGillicuddy gets more of in the second half. That's the first time I ever heard him speak, and he seems like a phenomenal young leader who's going to be a big part of football in Southern Connecticut for a long time. You saw it. That's his offense. He knew they made a lot of mistakes, Rob, and he took ownership of that. He wasn't going to say, oh, everything is peachy and perfect. He's going to be a leader of this team who's going to see where there are mistakes, and he's going to clean them up in the 10 45 we have between halves right now. He's going to clean up as many issues as he can, and they're going to hopefully come out firing in that second half. Well, this is the game I always like to play at halftime, and I'm going to play it with you. You are the new Canaan coach. You're talking to your boys. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? I'm saying we have to get it going with those five guys on the offensive line. You know what you can do. You're big, you're strong, and you can go toe-for-toe -toe with any defensive line in the state of Connecticut. Prove to them who you are. Get this running game going. Make things easier for quarterback Reed Brown. Put some points on the board that aren't coming from Chris Kinnett. Because Chris Kinnett can't play all positions on the offense. He can only do so much. And you need the offensive line to come alive. And if I'm Coach Marinelli, I'm going right to those guys. Head coach, excuse me, offensive line coach Bruce Cunningham, former head coach at Wilton. He's a first-year coach here. He's a very passionate guy. And I bet he's hammering home those words as well. Play like you know you can play. It's for the kids. That's all that matters. Because who knows if they will get that spring football, that state sanction. That is no guarantee exactly. with what is happening with the country and around the globe right now. And the parents, it's a team sport. There are rivalries on the field, but some things just transcend rivalries. And when you know your kids are hurting for a season and they see the rest of their classmates playing their fall sports, this is real football. And it's a lot of work to get to where they are right now. But they made it happen, and it is as good as it gets. This is the real deal, and we're just so happy that we can bring you the live coverage of it, even though it's limited fans. That's a pretty big moment. Yes. Here's a pretty big player. Uh -oh. Chris Kinnett's got a lane right up the gut. He cuts it outside. He's got the room and he's got the speed. And he is going to go all the way. Touchdown, New Canaan. Looking downfield. He's got a man. And it's going to be Blake Wilson on the move. Sheds off a tackler. And Wilson is gone. Touchdown, New Canaan. This is going to be the last play of the first quarter. They bring pressure. 1v1 ball. Hutchinson adjusts. And he makes the catch. Touchdown, Brad Sons. Number one scores six points. And they'll take the 13-0 lead on the last play of the first. It's first and goal. Groff. To the end zone, wide open, and he makes the catch. Are you kidding? It's Cooper dying in touchdown, New Canaan. Two seconds remain.
you're still trying to keep them out of the end zone. Reed Brown ah. keeps it on the read option, cuts it up field, and Ricky Bobby tumbles in. Wallace looks right. Now steps up, looks to run with it. Still on the move. He finds his man, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bad Sons. And it comes from Jalen Carter, who broke free off the scramble from Wallace. And they're going to go up 6 nothing with 10.26 left to go in this first quarter. But here's a rollout here from Wallace. Going downfield, looking for Hutchinson, and he pulls it down. A little bit of Randy Moss impersonation here. Going up and over. Number 38, Jack McCulloch. Well said from our basketball expert too, Brendan Tiscornia. Here's the deep shot here from Danny Louder, and it's intercepted by Jack Wallace. Quarterback on quarterback crime. And on the deep ball looking for Ashton Weingartner, it sailed right to Wallace. This is the game on the line. Fourth and 17. A minute 37 remain. New Canaan down three in this FCFL JV action. The side Groff have one more big throw left in him. Groff, pressure comes. He stays alive. He's going to run for it. And Groff leaps. And it looks like he has it. Let's see. He has it. Hero ball for number 39. Ty Groff and crew are going to continue here on third and three. Groff unveils the cannon again. Wilson there again. And he's off to the races. Touchdown, New Canaan. The second one today for number 83, Blake Wilson. Yeah, before this, we had five hours of flag football. Yeah, you reffed. <laughs> Second and ten. Pressure comes. There's a flag on the play. Deep shot from Wallace, and it will be caught by Jalen Carter. It will be a touchdown, but not if for that flag. That dirty laundry, which is at the 47-yard line, and this is going to go back. It's a hold on the Bad Sons. Ty Groff had him open in the end zone off the wheel route, but... New Canaan still trails 16. Here's a huge run for Wilson. He's past the second level, and Mr. Jake Wilson says goodnight. Touchdown, Darianne. A 70, an 81-yard scamper in his first touchdown of the evening, and Darianne is flat out pouring on the points now, Ted. Wallace. Looks there. He's going for the long ball. He's got Brady Hutchinson in stride. Fending off a defender and finally rattled down into Greenwich Elite 25 on the big play from number one. So Ty Groff has one more chance at redemption here in the red zone. A quick dart over the middle. A catch and run opportunity. Blake Wilson dancing all around. He's making everybody miss. And Blake Wilson's in. Oh no! Touchdown, New Caden! Blake Wilson is doing it all right now. That's his third touchdown on the game. That's video game like stuff, Ted. That Groff with an absolutely wide open Blake Wilson, and he makes the back shoulder grab. Slightly underthrown, but Wilson, he will grab anything. And an excellent catch there. Wallace will give it right back to him. And nowhere to go. He's swallowed up and wrapped up by Moshine. Colin Moshine. Wrestles him down to the ground for the big tackle for loss. Here's Harry Von Kettle. With the bomb. It's up in traffic. And it's intercepted by New Canaan's number 81, Walker Blair. And he's tripped up at the 20. Just the play New Canaan needed. And it comes on the jump ball opportunity. So Hutchinson in motion. Clock continues to roll with 2.10 left to go. Low snap. Wallace over the middle, and it is intercepted by Johnson. Jumping the throw for Greco in a massive defensive play on the air from Wallace. Charlie Johnson with the pick. Telesco still in the backfield. Groff still in at quarterback. Fourth straight carry for Telesco. And the ball is loose. And it's recovered, it seems, by Darianne. And it is. I think the Batson's kicker thought it was fourth down. He started running oh, out on no. the field. He got giddy. Third and goal. Wallace dump off to Takura, and he's all alone. Touchdown, Batsons. Tyler Takura gets in on the scoring action. And that's the 20-0 lead. With 12 seconds left to go in this half. 
So now first and goal for New Canaan. Christian Carson, the Reed Browns left. And they're going to give it right up to the Diesel. And he scores. Touchdown, New Canaan. Second touchdown in as many weeks for Christian Carson. But let's see what the Bad Sons have left in him. 6-10. Left to go in his first quarter. Hutchinson in motion. Wallace rolls. Wallace flings it. He's got Carter open. Did he get the catch in bounds? No. An excellent effort from Carter. Backpedaling to adjust to that football but he couldn't get both feet in. Prisoners, they are fighting until the last buzzer. Brown looks right, finds his man. A big catch and run for Ryan Corbett, finally dragged down by Buckley. But the Canadian-American, Ryan Corbett, <laughs> with the big catch and run. He had a good week last week, came back from a bad ankle injury last year, fractured it, but you can't tell with that kind of acceleration and a big play for him. In the shotgun, steps up. Let's it fly. He's got Hutchinson wide open, and he is going to be just short of a touchdown. Ruled down at the two. An excellent play over the middle from him. So back-to-back -back turnover on downs from both teams. So Chamberlain is going to look to have a bit more success on drive number three. He's looking left. He's running left. And he is completing it left. Dragged down by Nolan Larkin on the completion two. Drew Smith. Hey, there's a catch. Is that you could get... Chamberlain, QB sneak. Nope. He's looking for the second push, and he will get it. Touchdown, Fairfield. Chamberlain looks right. 1v1 ball is caught. Room to move. A big catch and run, and he turns on the Jets to Pater. Touchdown, Fairfield. It's Luca Inone. Wallace just heaves it, and it is caught, and he is going to go. All the way. Max Wallace, touchdown for the Bad Sons. From 98 yards out.